सामने नहीं प्लीज हेलो दादा प्लीज से विजय प्लीज है ओए हेलो गाड़ी में घूम रहे हैं अरे हेलो ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है फोटो ओ कैमरा अरे ओ अरे हेलो कैमरा के सामने क्यों आ रहे हो कैब गिरा गया बोलो कैब घूम आज मिल जाएगा मोबाइल हेलो मोबाइल थैंक यू सो मच ठीक है तुमसे आभारी है अभी मंडल आभारी है My sincere thanks to all dignitaries for helping us kickstart this moment. <laughs> Firstly, a uh, very good morning to everybody present over here. I'd like to take this uh, moment to thank. Um, Started by Iman Shu, everybody at Sumansa for uh, for inviting me, for uh, giving me this honor of being a brand ambassador of uh, Beauty India, uh, India made in venture, the first of its kind, and I'm really glad that it's happening in Amchi, Mumbai, and I hope uh, to see more of it uh, uh, all over the country. And like uh, our very very uh, illustrious panel uh, on the dais said, that we want to see this. Uh, compete with some of the heavyweights uh, around the world i look forward to that of course uh, with all that was said by our very uh, uh, you know uh, high rung people in the business i really have nothing much to add to what they said but uh, when it comes to beauty and hair and the business that we that we work in i wouldn't be able to be here on time the way we look and the way we are put together hadn't it been for the for those wonderful people in the beauty and hair business because they are the ones who put us together and make sure that we are looking our best and on time so i have immense 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 pride and immense uh, gratitude towards the beauty and hair business because we are nothing without them they are really what uh, helps us be what you see on screen so i a huge heartfelt thank you to everyone of uh, of you that work in the beauty and hair business uh, and of course um, this is a made in venture and i want to see it grow i want it to, i want to see it be uh, something to really reckon with with all the kind of uh, uh, you know power behind it all the kind of uh, media support that's going to be behind it i'm sure beauty india will be uh, a product uh, a platform to reckon with so i wish each one of you all the very best i'm not sure how many stalls are here today sajid bhai how many 77 so i hope uh, next year we see exactly double the number of stalls that would mean that there is definitely a uh, uh, a leap an interest and uh, and whatever sajid bhai and his entire team are doing over here that means that you you guys are headed in the right direction so i wish each one of you all the very best have a wonderful day and uh, god bless thank you thanks miss malaika Having heard from our honorable speakers today I'd like now like to invite Mr Himanshu Gupta general manager sales and marketing B2B events Sumansa exhibitions the organizers of this beautiful beauty in their show show you that your words of encouragement would guide us and motivate us in achieving greater heights in our future endeavors too I also wish to express my gratitude to the members of the press for being there today and gracing the inaugural function Ladies and gentlemen once again i want to state that we are most grateful to all the speakers on this stage state of your beauty and could you give some two to the two or three tips to the you know end users the readers <laughs> secret in, in fact um, a lot of the products that i see here today a lot of the stalls are some of the products that i personally use so they are all part of my daily routine lakme is something that i that i pretty much started off my career with i did so much of of work initially with lakme so 
uh, LACME is part and parcel of, of, my, of my growth in, in this business. And I think uh, uh, beauty secrets, I think, like they say, eventually, it's all in your genes, right? <laughs> all the products help you enhance it, but it's all in your genes. But thank you so much for that uh, compliment, nevertheless. And uh, tips to my past, to any koi tips. All I would say is uh, go, go use all the products, try those products. I'm sure uh, have more stalls over here, so that way you'll also be more uh, aware of what's happening in terms of the beauty business. And I, yeah, those are all the tips that I could really give you, sir. I have three questions. I will start off with uh, Mrs. Anand. Uh, let me know, I mean, you started off almost 25 years ago. You, your products are more, has been uh, traditional and uh, it has been more of a traditional and a, uh, a lower middle class uh, sort of an audience product. So, to, Mrs. Kajal, I, mean, I would like you to answer that. So, uh, how do you look at it 25, 30 years later? Where, where do you stand? Are you happy with the way the beauty industry is moving? Well, uh, let me tell you, down the line, 25 to 30 years, I don't know whether I would be living, but of course, the legacy will be there behind and the small scale today will have grown a much, you know, they will be much more with all the beauty products, what they're going to come in, following the pioneers in the field of cosmetics. And we at the association level are trying to groom our manufacturers Though we are at the moment an unorganized sector, but gradually everything is getting organized. And we have bought into a lot of improvements. And we see that further too. The other question is to Mrs. Arora Khan. Uh, you started off your modeling career somewhere precisely in the 90s with the MR Coffee ad. That's the time when we really saw you there and you made a launch. I would like to know, uh, are you happy with the way the industry, it's, it's just a takeoff question from her. Uh, how has it evolved? I mean, at that time it was more of an MR coffee ad, you went into modeling. Today more, you are more into a style icon and people look at you. People wait for you to dress up and look good. I mean, you have been doing that on and off of the screen. So, what's your take on the present industry? Well, firstly, sir, yes, I started off in the 90s, so it's, it's been a long way, a long journey for all of us sitting over here. Um, I would definitely think that we have definitely evolved. I think we all believe, I mean, we, we work with the belief that we all evolve and so has the industry because if we don't evolve, then I think there is a problem. We're just going to be stuck in a rut. Uh, we've come a long way. Uh, I think the industry is far more organized than what it used to be. Yes, there's still a long way where we all have to, have to grow, but you always have to leave space for, for that growth. And uh, I definitely feel really happy and proud to say that now I'm really part of an industry that is really... Uh, that is really organized. I mean, earlier I remember it was uh, I mean, now it's not like that. Now it is a full-fledged industry and uh, with a lot more uh, happening and a lot more available, uh, a lot of investment in it. So I think no, now everybody takes it seriously. You take it as a, you really do take it as a, as a flourishing industry and it's not something that that you can take lightly. So I'm glad that I'm part of it. I'm very proud to be part of this industry. Uh, have you been a part of any organization's consultancy, uh, 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 I mean, outfit where your views are being taken and they would like you to? Yes, well, I, I, I am a, a, a creative head and consultant on the Label Life, which is an online uh, uh, outfit that we have where we cater to to all sorts of, of women on online, shoppers online, where we cater right from clothing to to uh, lifestyle, home style, uh, accessories, we cater to all of that. So yes, I'm very much part of, of that uh, outfit and I love it. I, it's very creative for me and uh, the online business is a fast growing business as, as everybody is, is aware. Uh, so yes, that's what I'm actively involved with. Thank you. My last question is to Mr. Himanshu Gupta. Uh, Mrs. Kajal Anand did talk about that she had been to one of those uh, uh, foreign locations where she saw that there were no Indian brands. Today, that was 10 years ago, 15 years ago, today in this exhibition, what is the ratio of uh, the Indian brands and the foreign brands here? Yeah, so today, in, uh, being the maiden edition, uh, largely there are Indian companies who are participating. Having said that, uh, the ratio wise about 95% would, would be Indian and 5% would be international. But even in that 5%, there are about companies from Korea, from China, from uh, Poland, uh, Indonesia, so still that mix is there. So 
So they're in, in fact, in the international domain, uh, they normally first look at the first edition and subsequently their participation increases from the second edition onwards. That's the norm. So currently it is there, but going forward that ratio will change drastically. Any expectation from these stalls in terms of sales or distribution setup to be built up? Any projections? So we have good queries already before the show. We have got very nice uh, pre-registration which have happened. We have got visitor inquiries for particular stalls. So that will be happening during the three days of the exhibition set. Any more questions? You know, I can go on and say, oh, beauty is skin deep and beauty is inner beauty and all of that jazz. Uh, but let's just be honest, I grew up uh, uh, being told that I'm not very beautiful. So, uh, and I, can, I think that's a typical, you know, thing that you, that you have because uh, uh, we live in a, in a in pretty a color obsessed country. And I have a younger sister who is, uh, who's really, as you in India, very gori chitti hai and aur aap badi savli ho. So I've grown up being always told that, you know, oh, you know, so yes, so you grew up with these kind of insecurities as, as kids. But somewhere I think, um, I thank my parents for that. I thank my mother for that, who never ever made me feel any different. She always said that for, in her eyes, I'm the most beautiful. So whether you are dark or whether you are fair or whether you're round or square or tall or short shouldn't really be the, uh, the criteria of being beautiful. At the end of the day, you've got to feel confident. And for me, that is what is beautiful. If you're confident, if you can carry that confidence, if you can go out in the world and make a name for yourself, irrespective, I think for me, that is, that is something that you could really talk about more than anything else. Thank you. Can we have one last question, please? Yes. Uh, we are from the blog, the Desi Divas, and uh, my question is to Mr. Shenai. Uh, well, actually, uh, we've seen uh, Lakme pioneering the beauty products in India and how it has evolved over the years. However, there has been the brand is not being visible internationally when we go out abroad. Uh, there are always, uh, we, we are seeing from lately so many years that so many international brands that has penetrated the market in India, but then however, LACMA is not reaching out to the Indian consumers abroad. So what's your strategy for that in the coming years? So I'm not the best person to answer the question on products. I handle the salons business. I handle LACMA Lever. Having said that, the brand has made a foray into markets where there is a very strong Indian diaspora. So markets like the Middle East and other parts of the world where there is a very strong Indian diaspora, the brand has now a strong presence. I would like to answer the second part of your question, which is about international brands coming into India. See, at LACME, we believe in being, being close to and understanding our consumer really well. right? So whatever happens and whatever are the choices for that consumer, if we understand our consumer well, uh, we will always be more relevant because we will be ahead of what she aspires to be. Right? At LACME, we have the unique advantage of running uh, the backstage of LACME Fashion Week, where we understand, we work with, we create trends. Right? So trends in hair, makeup and beauty are created there and then we bring them into our salons that helps us be ahead of trend. Right? So that uh, you know, tells you why we are not that worried about who comes in as long as we are close to our consumer. Sure, thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, one, one, one. Yeah, this side, sorry. Uh, last. Sure. One last question, yeah, last. please. Yeah, my question is for Malaika ji. Yeah, uh, on your right side, extreme. Yeah. Oh, hi. Hari Mania. Uh, you've been a style icon, you endorse a lot of beauty brands also. Uh, within the Bollywood industry, who do you feel, besides you, are the most natural beauties of Bollywood and why? Besides Kareena Kapoor. You answered all everything. You said besides <laughs> this, besides that, but no, I'm left with really nothing much to say. <laughs> natural beauty is besides Kareena Kapoor. You can always talk on her also. No, no, no. Well, I, but I genuinely think she is uh, uh, one of the most natural beauties. That's probably why she is also part of, of the Lakme family. Um, for me, my eternal favorite is Madhuri Dixit. I've always loved her for, for everything. I think she's just amazing. Um, and uh, who else? I think um, Deepika. I think these are the ones who really are naturally beautiful, according to me. Sorry? 
what are the features of them that stand out for me? I think uh, for me it's well, it's not about features. For me, I mean, you ask a guy a question like that, and the guy will tell you, "Oh, I like her eyes, or I like her mouth, or a smile." Not not a woman. You shouldn't be asking me that. But I would say, uh, I think a woman, if she can look great with with makeup and without makeup, for me, is is sensational. Thank you so much, yes, media. Yes, tell me. A businesswoman. Well, I'm getting there, and I can't say I can't say that I have I've conquered that area of being a business. Uh, well, this is uh, uh, Beauty India's first uh, maiden venture, and uh, uh, I'm really glad that I could be part. I can be part of it. I'm brand ambassador of, of Beauty India, and uh, we look forward to to a really successful uh, relationship here. And I and I wish it all the very best. And and like like they said, we had we have 77 stalls uh, in our first year. I'm hoping by next year that we not just double that we that we should have five times more stalls. So I wish Beauty India all the very best. Firstly, when someone says that you are beautiful, you should say thank you very much. Tips don't need to give so thank you. I think that's a very sweet sweet compliment. And uh, keep it simple and summer's here, so uh, stay hydrated and stay fresh. Ma'am, one question, Ma'am, Kapil Sharma and Global Startup. Thank you, thank you.